Good morning, everyone. Today, let's go through another classic problem, um, binary search. This is literally the a very original version of binary search. It's not a variation of another problem building on top of the core essence of binary search. This is just the binary search itself. Let's take a look. Given an array of integers nums, which is sorted in ascending order, and an integer target, write a function to search for this target in this array. If target exists, then return its index. Otherwise, return minus one, which indicates it doesn't exist in this given array. And there is one requirement here, which is you must write an algorithm with O log n runtime complexity. Of course, this is time runtime complexity. O log n, when you see this level of time complexity, it's usually binary search. In this case, it is the very classic one. Okay, for example, this given array, we can see it's sorted in ascending order, and the target is 9. 9 apparently exists here, and we are returning in the in its index, which is 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? This is the problem that we can practice binary search, which is the foundation of many, many other problems that you can build on top of. Okay, so the classic, very classic, solution or technique to do this is the two-pointer technique or two-pointer solution. We use a pointer on the left and a pointer on the right. And we use these two pointers to keep comparison, to keep comparing against the target. Based on these two pointers, we can always compute a middle pointer. We use the middle pointer to see to compare the number pointed by the middle pointer to see if it's if it equals to the target, or it's greater than the target, or it's less than the target, then we move either left pointer or the right pointer towards the right position so that each time we always cut the original array into half. So we always drop the half, drop the half. For example, this one, we are given this array, the total length of this array is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six. Do we need to search all six numbers linearly? No, of course not, because it's sorted. We only need to search half of this array in total. So how do we do that? That is binary search. We can always chop this array into half because we know it's sorted. It's guaranteed that we're not going to miss anything. For example, this left will start with this left as minus one will start with a right, which is 12, and we get the middle number. So that is zero plus five. Usually we do like this. Then we have this number, which is two. So index two, zero, one, two, which is this number, three, right? So three is smaller than the target number nine. So we know if this target number exists in this given array, it must exist on the right side of this middle index. So at this point, we'll just update the left pointer from this one to be middle plus one, which is this one, right? So at, at the second iteration, left pointer is here, right pointer is still here. Then we keep doing this. Now this is the right pointer, which didn't change, and this is the left pointer, this is the left pointer. Right, so left pointer here is three, th three plus five divided by two, that is four, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. This is four. Four, we'll check, this is the middle index now. We'll check if the, the number pointed by the middle index, is it equal to target, which in this case it is. Then we'll directly return the index, which is four in this case. So you can see that that's the beauty of binary search. But of course, it comes with the precondition, which is the given array must be in sorted order. And this is the purest and the most classic or the most simplest form, which is in ascending order, which means there is no duplicate. If it says none descending order, that which could mean that there are duplicates, which means like say zero, 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 like say multiple zeros or multiple threes, which is a variation of binary search we can, which you can still apply, but you need to tweak it a little bit, which we'll talk in another video. For this one, since it says it's 
ascending order, which means there is no duplicate. So we can always chop this binary. This we can use binary search. We can use the idea of binary search to always chop this array into half, which gives us the time complexity of O log n instead of O n, which is linear. O log n is not half. It's much much smaller, much quicker than half. If you have a binary search tree, you know that's why it's called a binary search tree, which is beyond the, the scope of this video. Okay, but log n is pretty pretty very very fast, much faster than linear, which is O n. Okay, it's not constant. It's it's like way slower than constant, but it's much faster than linear. As this one, one of the constraints it says all integers in the num are unique, which is which means. It's not none descending, which is always ascending order. All right. With that said, we can quickly put the idea into actual code. Let's take a look. So, as I said, we always use two pointers. One is left, the other is on the right. Nums f minus one. Um, so here we use a while loop. This um, this piece of the code is so classic that you can remember this. This use this as a template whenever you need to implement binary search from scratch. Just use this template. Usually in any languages, um, for example Java or Python, there's always a as a standard SDK. You can just call the API to apply binary search for your use case. But for here, we're testing, we're practicing algorithm and data structures. So we'll just implement this from scratch. Left smaller than right. Um, there are a lot of different variations. Again, here some of in some cases you want to use less than or equal to. But in this case, we'll just apply exactly less than. Okay, to make it simple, then we calculate a middle middle index. So here is another um, small trick or just a, a tip that people can remember. Instead of using left plus right. Divided by two, which might cause out of boundary exception, in which we want to avoid. So the typical trick that we use is to use right minus left and then divided by two. This way we can always avoid integer out of bounds exception. All right, um, and then we'll check if nums mid equals target. If that is the case, we'll directly return mid, which is in the second iteration of this example, right? And then also we'll check if nums mid is smaller than target. So in this case, which is the very first iteration of what we were going through, right? That means the mid index in during the first iteration of this while loop for this example, mid index is here, which is three is pointing at the number three. So three is smaller than target, right? So at this point, we know if the target exists in this array, it must exist on the right side of the middle point, right? So we, in this case, will shift, will update left to be mid plus one. So that means we updated left to be to be here for the next iteration to begin with, right? All right. So and then the other case is we know if if like say the target is zero, in this case, we know if zero exists in this array, which it does, it must be on the left side of the middle pointer, right? So in that case, we'll just update right pointer to be mid minus one. So in this way, we can always update either left or right pointer, or we just return the index because we find a perfect match. And then at the end of this while loop, we'll just exit. But still, we want to check if left pointer or the right pointer is matching, is pointing at the number in the array that is a match of the target. So we want to check if left smaller than nums length and nums left equals target. If that is the case, we'll just return left. Otherwise, it's also possible that right pointer is pointing at the right one, but we'll check the boundary first. If right pointer is within the boundary of the array, because right keeps decrementing, right? We keep decrementing 
right because right is shifting towards the left and left is shifting towards the right so we want to check if left is still within the boundary of this array and right is still within the boundary of the array otherwise we'll get array out of bounds exception nums right equals target and then return right otherwise we'll just return minus one why is it complaining I guess it's just a uh, leak code is being slow. Let me try this. Yeah, it's accepted. All right, let me hit submit. Accepted. So yeah, uh, I believe this red line should go away. Should go away very quickly. All right. So this is the entire algorithm of this problem. Again, this is a the super the basic classic. I highly suggest to everyone to really understand this. Just use this as a template. If you ever need to implement binary search from scratch, time complexity of this algorithm is O log n because we always chop this array into half. We don't need to linearly visit every single element of this given array. We only chop it. We always, by in each iteration, we chop this array into half. That's the algorithm. If this video helps you understand binary search, please do me a favor and hit that like button. That's really going to help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave me any comments or suggestions down below. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.